Okay, hello everyone and welcome back. This is Supa Soka. Uh, we're just going to talk very quickly about some of the UI changes and some of the mods that I'm running, some of the add-ons I'm running on my character. So for if you don't know, I play on the private vanilla World of Warcraft server in Astarius PvP. As I mentioned, it's a private server, so it's not officially sanctioned by Blizzard, and it runs vanilla World of Warcraft. So this is pre the Burning Crusades. There's no expansions, just uh, the base vanilla World of Warcraft, and as of right now, uh, this is early November 2015, the only l l uh, endgame instances available, raiding instances, are Molten Core and Blackwing Lear, um, but AQ40, AQ20, and Next Ramos are planned for the future. So I've had a lot of people ask about what mods I'm using, uh, because if, I guess some people like my UI. I don't think it's that amazing, but apparently people want to know more about it. So I have a few different mods. Uh, up here I have bigwigs in the top right. You can see this is actually a raiding mod. It'll help you with some of your raids. Some guilds require it, some don't. My guild, uh, we use it a little bit, or we used to use it more, um, but I keep it. And it's just meant for um, raiding, endgame raiding, for the most part. The uh, One of the major things people like about my UI is my map mod. So if we go to, I don't know, let's go over to the Barrens. Uh, this is how my map looks, and this is called Cartographer. It's uh, just a nice map mod. You can do lots of customizations with it. There's lots of settings up here. Um, I've modified mine to look like this because I like it this way. And there's also kind of some add-ons to go with Cartographer, like an herb mod and a mining mod. And I believe they come with the download for Cartographer. And so you can see that basically it'll track herbs. So if, if I ever pick up an herb in a spot, it'll mark it on my map so I know that's where it's at in the future. Super handy. One of my favorite mods. Uh, you can't see it right now, but I also have, let's see if I can pull it up. Uh, CC watch. You can see down here all the information about it. Uh, this is a kind of crowd control watch. Basically, it's my timer. So if I stun lock someone or if I'm playing my warlock and I fear them, it'll give me an idea about how much longer that stun will last. It's very useful, very handy for PvP especially, but also for PvE. Uh, to actually split up my UI the way I have it, the way my bottom bar looks and everything, I have this mod you can see in the top right, this little CT button. You can click it, it pulls up more menu or more options. This is called CT Mod, and CT Mod actually has many components to it. Uh, I think there are maybe at least a dozen add-ons that go with CT Mod. So you need something called CT Master Mod first. You get that, then you can add on other things. There's like hard, hot bar mods, party mods, player mods. I don't really have any party mods, some miscellaneous mods. But using this and using this Unlock Frames button here, you can see it pops up these little dots all over the map or all over the screen. This lets me move things around, shrink the sizes of things, and it's super handy. It's pretty much how I made most of the major changes on my UI. So that's CT Master Mod, and like I said, you need like CT uh, Bar Mod and CT Bottom Bar Mod, I think, come with it. Uh, but I can help you find those later. Uh, at the bottom of my screen for my Rogue and also for Druids, I have this little yellow bar. This is called Energy Watch, type slash EW. You can see in the bottom left, Energy Watch version 214. And it gives you all sorts of options. You can add sounds or change the size or make the bar fill up the other way. I like the way this looks about the size. I like it, so I put it down there. And it's really handy for uh, keeping track of your energy ticks. Uh, what else do I have? I have uh, one bag. You can see my bag in the bottom right. It's all one bag. Uh, you can actually open up this and it'll show you the individual bags. And it'll highlight in blue where the items are. So you can still move stuff around between bags and then replace your bags that way. I, I need to get some better bags, by the way. So I've got a lot of 14 slots. Really need to upgrade those. But one bag is really nice. I, I love this mod. It's one of my favorite mods. Uh, down here, I actually have, uh, it says like your DPS. And it's locked right now. I'll right click to move it. And this is actually called recap. It's recap of all fights you can see here. And this basically shows DPS by everything that's nearby you. Uh, I reset it once in a while to clear it up. This is my favorite damage mod. There's also, um, I forget what it's called, maybe like Damage Watch or something. Uh, but Recap, from the ones I've tested, seems like the best one, uh, the most accurate one. So I usually just leave it down here in kind of minimize mode, lock it in place, and I can sort of keep track of my DPS. Uh, the last thing, uh, you can see my tooltip. So where my mouse cursor is going, here on the right side of the screen, the tooltip actually stays with it. Normally your tooltip will pop up like in the bottom right or bottom of the screen. And if I remember right, this is called Tiny Tip. So you can see it here, Tiny Tip. You can adjust where these, uh, where the tooltip anchors. You can adjust the appearance a little bit, add some si change the size, change the backdrop. I really like Tiny uh, Tip. So it's a great mod. And the only problem is it covers up my health. So if I come up here, 
I can't see my health very easily. I'm at like 29 something, I think. It's very hard to see my health because of uh, the tool tip up there. But otherwise, it's pretty much perfect. So that's actually pretty much all the mods I run. Um, there, I will show you in my description below. I have links to how to get to this more specifically. Uh, if you want to keep watching the video, I do show you uh, on screen how to actually go to where I download all these mods. So uh, if we cut over, I've got a web browser loaded up right now on forum.nostalrius.org. You can get here by going to nostalrius.org or just going to Google or Bing or whatever, Yahoo, and search for Nostalrius official forums. And once you're on these official forums, you can see Nostalrius at top. Uh, in here, under the community tab, there is a section. Let's see if I can find it. I think getting... Oh, sorry. Add-ons and macros. Here it is. Add-ons and macros. I'm going to click that. Loads up. And then there's this... Uh, Super useful sticky up here in blue text says sticky vanilla add-ons repository last updated September 23rd So it's a little out of date right now, uh, but we're gonna go to it anyway and In here there's all these add-on packs like tons of add-on packs all these things Truthfully, uh, I don't mess with any of these There's some individual add-ons all these things like a lot of them are sticky to the top You can find add-on websites um, There's tons of stuff. There's lots of posts like uh, maybe 14 posts in this thread of other things going on but all you need to worry about, just scroll down and come to this part here that says buy, blah, blah. Uh, thread not available, download part one of two, and download part two of two. So this is 140 megabytes total. You don't need to download all of that. But let's say you want to download, um, I don't know, let's say you want to download the tiny tip mod. So these two parts are actually alphabetical, if I remember correctly. And so if you go to the second part, it should have more of the later alphabet um, uh, so we're going to click this link. This says drive.google.com. It goes to Google Drive. And you can see I'm actually in Google Drive now. I've got, I'm already logged in. I don't think you even need to make an account for this, but I already have a Google account, so it works out well. And these are actually alphabetical. So you can just scroll down to the bottom and keep scrolling on down, keep scrolling on down. We're in the S's. There's a Sudoku mod if you want to play some Sudoku. I remember having that mod back in uh, Retail Vanilla. And let's see, Tiny Tip right here. So all you need to do, right click this mod. Go to download, download it to your computer. And let's go to download, and once you've downloaded it, you'll have this uh, RAR file. So all you need to do is go to uh, go to your computer, go to whatever directory. So in my case, I'll make this larger screen. Uh, go to my, what is this, my E drive or something, general storage E drive. Then I have a bunch of videos here, uh, a bunch of files here, sorry. And I want to go to the one that has my program in it for the installation of... World of Warcraft. Actually, I'm suddenly forgetting where that is. Ah, sorry, my F drive, my solid state drive. So go to wherever directory you have your game installed, go there. So mine's under Programs, and World of Warcraft, World of Warcraft Classic, and then go to Interface, go to Add-ons, and then in here you have to unzip or open up your RAR file. Then you can just drop the folders in here. You can see I've got Tiny Tip, Tiny Tip Extras, and Tiny Tip Options. I have lots of other mods in here too but I don't use most of these anymore. I disable a lot of them, um, but that's all you have to do. So just to recap, go, let's back up a little bit, go to forums.nostalrius.org or just Google Nostalrius official forums. Go to the topic that's vanilla add-ons repository. Scroll down to this uh, by blah, 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 excuse me, part. The, and then there's two links here. If you want mods that are in the beginning of the alphabet, like maybe A to L roughly, uh, go into this first part, and if you want like M through Z, then go into the second part. But you can look through them all, there's tons of add-ons in there. I don't know how many of them still work, but every one I've tried has worked totally fine. So you click it, go into it, uh, right mouse click the mod you want, go to download, uh, find it on your computer, mine will be on my desktop usually, and just unzip it, and then drag those files that are inside into your Warcraft interface add-ons directory. So that's all it takes, very simple. Um, and that's everything. So that's those are the mods that I personally run. That's how I get the mods, and that's how I install the mods. If you have any questions, please just send me a message in game or comment below in the YouTube video. I'm happy to do my best to help answer them. I've had a lot of people ask about my mods, and so I hopefully hopefully this video will answer that for most of you. Anyway, that's everything for today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.